Good evening. Welcome back to Four Kids in a Farm, or if this is your first time here, my name is Aaron. My wife and I, Rachel, have a five acre farm here in Northern California. We are new to farming, we're new to homesteading, uh, but we're learning every day. So one thing that I wanted to do today was do an update on a few things. If you're here to our channel from Cog Hill, Deep South Homestead, or Adler Farms, or Naked Hog Farms, um, or some of the other channels that are participating in the Haas Tools Sunflower Showdown, this is ground zero. This is where um, it all started. And all the channels uh, that are involved are working on growing these giant sunflower plants. And so I'm gonna put all those links below. I want you to go and check out those channels. Um, tell them to be afraid of Aaron at Four Kids on a Farm. But it's all fun and games. Um, it's all fun. Learning to grow these gigantic sunflower seeds has been fun so far. My strategy was not to put all of my eggs in one basket. So I've planted some in the ground over in our garden. And then I've got some that I had under uh, Jason from Cog Hill Farms Grow Lights which ended up being a pretty good strategy because we had a hailstorm that was pretty scary for our garden. So um, I've got some of those that I've got to transplant in these big buckets. I've been eyeing a super sunny spot over in our lawn that I'm gonna transplant with some really crazy premium organic potting soil. It's the most I've ever spent on potting soil. And uh, check these guys out. That's Gray Gray and Star Lord and Rocket. And they're just the best Mausers that we can have. So, before I go on to that, um, I wanted to introduce you out. I just want to do a quick update as well on our meat bird project. So, these are our turkeys and our meat chickens. A few months ago, we hatched these guys out. The turkeys are from a. <laughs> A surprise gift that we got from the feed store I got it for Rachel and they have been so awesome they're so fun to to play with they're such a neat little bird that we've never raised before this chicken tractor is a Stony Ridge farmer design it is made out of drain pipe and it was super easy for me to make and it went up in a day and the reason that I built this one you know there's the Siskovich style uh, there's the Joel Salatin style. I wanted something that was light and easy for my kids to move. We're gonna feed and water these guys and then we'll move on to our garden chores. We'll move on to the sunflowers. If you don't know Josh's channel, um, Stony Ridge Farmer, I will put the link below. He is such a cool, cool dude. He's helped us a lot on our channel. He's just an awesome guy and he's, he's very knowledgeable. Um, he's doing such a good job and I I, I feel like a dumb homesteader next to him. He's just a super smart guy, super classy and nice and doing great, great work. So go over there, tell Josh, Aaron from Four Kids in a Farm sent you over there. And if you guys are looking to build a chicken tractor, this is easy to put together. It goes together like those little plastic blocks that you build things. I don't know if I can say that name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Easy to cut, easy to put together, pretty sturdy and very light. And this is what we wanted on our farm for our kids because we want them doing the chores. We're gonna feed these guys um, and move them to some new grass. You can see these are all different. They're from different parents. They're from different moms and dads. And we are seeing so many different uh, colors and sizes and stuff like that. So they are perfectly sustainable for our farm. So the turkeys cost us six bucks a piece, but they're just the coolest. Oh, I think that is a rooster uh, just trying to mate with the turkey. So we need to put a tag on that guy. He's going to be a meal later. That's a dude. That's a dude. He looks like he's got some Easter egg in him. Okay, well, let's get these guys moving and then we'll move on to the sunflowers. Turkeys definitely are not the smartest bird. She wants some grass. <laughs> she keeps trying to poke her head in. Uh -uh. You pull that guy. 
<laughs> that kid. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Maybe still a little bit heavy for my littlest ones. Make sure you shoe them to make sure they don't get caught under the pipes, okay? Wait. I need to get them all too. Yeah, that, just kind of wave them that way. Okay, kid. Keep going, give him that nice, fresh piece of grass. Okay, now we gotta feed him and give him water. Darth Vader is get the water. Mine and Rick can never get the Get the We need to upgrade this water, but uh, the bigger one we have, we lost one of the caps that keeps it vacuum sealed. So this is what we get to do. Fill this one up twice a day. <laughs> it's hard to unscrew. Okay. Double, It's like... This is a girl. You guys, we have no idea what happened to this chicken's bill. Yeah, somehow it got deformed. Yeah. Stuck in place. But it eats fine. It's one of our healthier birds. Uh, just he, he's just like the one got a little cross bill there. He's like... And the turkeys are big. He's yeah. Okay, get him some food, guys. Okay. Here's all our chicks. Yeah. They get away from the... <laughs> it is getting pretty darn hot here in northern california we had a hundred degree day the other day the good thing is is there's not a lot of humidity so that definitely that definitely cuts down on the feeling of the heat right i don't know if you guys have this problem if you do wood chips in your garden but we're getting lots of this stuff so if you guys know what this is it looks like dog vomit that's for sure yeah we're getting a lot of these guys if you know what these guys are called let us know down in the comments you know we know that fungus is good because that means things are breaking down and so we're we're totally okay with it we just like we're not going to eat it or anything like that that would be that would be crazy okay so this is my uh my sunflower patch with the fortress built around it because i didn't want ducks or chickens getting in here but we're gonna go in here we're gonna take a look at what they look like and then we'll go over um, and transplant the ones that we grew in the grow light so um, these ones actually are doing pretty good I once again new at farming have no idea what I'm doing I look at the other guys channels and I always am afraid of what what they are doing <laughs> Uh, everybody knows more than me about gardening, um, especially sunflowers. Uh, let's just say I am extremely an amateur. Some of them are doing better than, than others. We directly put these in the ground and you can see that they are fully leaning towards the sun. And sunflowers, see how they're like almost like satellite dishes. They're just pointing right at the sun. And that's why they're called sunflowers. I am perfectly happy with how these turned out, especially with some of the weather that we've had. And I know some of the other guys are having some crazy weather. This is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. I don't know when these take off. It's been um, about three weeks for these guys. And uh, they got a long way to uh, the 14 feet that I want them to be at. Let's get to transplanting these other ones. I'm gonna put some soil in these yellow buckets and these are left over from that chicken tractor. My idea is that I want like a direct line to the roots so I can kind of soak water these guys, especially because I want to win this thing. Okay 
guys, the sun's going down pretty quick. So I wanted to show you what is in $20 a bag potting mix. Holy smokes. I mean, it looks incredibly legit. And I know, I know what that means, okay? I know we live in California. We're not really about that. So it's certified organic. If you care about this kind of thing, this is all made with renewable energy. If you are trying to reduce your footprint uh, and trying to just get the best quality stuff, this has H Forest products, core, which is core is uh, the shredded hole of a coconut, some peat moss, pumice, earthworm casting. That's black gold right there. Feather meal, seabird guano. You can collect that off your shirt when you go to the beach. Crab meal, Ooh. fish bone meal, oyster shell lime, dolomite lime, bat guano, kelp meal, wedding agent, oh the yucca, whatever, whatever that is. Dude, some premium stuff for my premium sunflowers. Crossing my fingers for this, hopefully it works. And I think it will. You put good stuff in, you get good stuff out, right? It smells a little bit but like poop, but it smells good. It smells like soil, good, healthy soil. And it's really, it's really nice to... This is where I'm gonna put my little lengths of pipe. I'm gonna put with them like halfway down. These guys are filled halfway up. So I'm just gonna press those in there. I'll fill the rest of this with the potting soil. And then that way I can pour water or nutrients right down here. And hopefully that'll give me a leg up in the competition, getting good, good stuff to the roots of these sunflowers. I also have some of this uh, rose and flower food, uh, which has a lot of good stuff in it. Sunflowers are pretty heavy feeders, and so I'm going to just kind of layer this in before I put the next round of soil in, just so when those sunflowers' roots hit it, they'll have it ready to eat. It's got the good microbes and stuff like that in it, so pulling out all the stops <laughs> and hoping it works because uh, you know Danny and Wanda know exactly what they're doing and they probably have been building their soil for decades. Here they are. These are where my prized sunflowers will grow like crazy. We're gonna pick the strongest of the five that I grew underneath that grow light. Let's get them. I heard these can turn yellow um, if they're watered too much and I hope that's not what happened, but obviously this guy's a contender here, and I don't know if I should plant a couple of those in the other bin, and then whichever one doesn't do so fantastic, I will just uh, weed it out. This one obviously was a late bloomer, so not putting that guy in, but, so I think I'm gonna pick this guy, maybe these three. We'll go with these three. Good dog. What a good farm dog. Lilo, Lilo is a mix. She's mo mostly Rottweiler. She looks like a lab, which she's not any. She's a golden retriever, Rottweiler, 
and Akita. And every once in a while when something scary comes down the driveway, her Rottweiler and Akita come out. So, dude, she's such a good farm dog. So, just going to make a, a little orifice. There we go. And just, uh... All right. Ooh. Okay. I'm right there and just I don't need to be there. I just kind of pat this guy in and I'll come back and water. Hey, if you guys have a name, we'll make this a competition. Name the sunflowers. Uh, I don't want to call them righty and lefty. <laughs> There's number two. The number one and number two are righty and lefty, unless you guys come up with a cooler name. I don't know if I should pull these off or not, but my gut says do it. And just in time for the sun to set, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna water them real quick. If you successfully name our sunflowers, I will pin your comment at the top of the comments and so everybody will know that you named the sunflowers here at Four Kids on a Farm. Use your creativity. We'll see how this 420 mix works. Um, listen, I know as about as much as growing that as I do sunflowers, so if we get some subscribers who are into growing 420 stuff don't ask me for tips i don't know i i don't know anything about that <laughs> so but i will be able to recommend it if these things grow 14 feet tall that will not be a uh, future showdown um, ever <laughs> This is a horrible introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted.